How to clean and maintain your Stanley stove. The cleaning of your stove can be categorized into five key areas. External castings, glass, internal combustion components, chimney and flue pathways, rope and door seals. For more detailed user and maintenance instructions, refer to your relevant user manual. Always burn dry fuel. Do not burn fuels with high moisture content, such as damp peat or unseasoned timber, as these will affect performance and damage the unit. Multi-fuel or solid fuel stoves are now far easier and cleaner to use than ever before, and most have riddling grates and air wash systems to keep the glass clean. The vitreous enamel finish on your stove is tough and hard wearing, but should be treated with care. Cleaning should be carried out when the stove is cool. If your stove is finished in a high gloss vitreous enamel, wipe over daily with a soapy damp cloth, followed by a polish with a clean dry duster. For stubborn deposits, a soap impregnated pad can be used carefully on the vitreous enamel. Do not use abrasive pads or oven cleaners containing citric acid on enameled surfaces. Cleaners approved by the Vitreous Enamel Association should only be used. For your matte black stove, use a dry cloth to remove any dust or dirt. Do not use any water on the matte black finish, as this will cause it to rust. Again, ensure you do this when the stove is cool. Make sure to riddle your stove and remove ash every day, as buildup of ash can reduce the air circulation around the grate, causing it to overheat and deform. Over time, fuel deposits, clinker and ash can lodge between the grate and the grate support, which can cause difficulties when moving the grate during de-ashing. We recommend the following cleaning process to be carried out on a monthly basis. In order to clean the grate, remove the ash pan beneath first and lift out the grate. Take care if the ash pan is hot from the previous day's fire. Use a brush to dust off clinker and any remaining ash into the grate. For instructions on how to remove the grate on your specific Stanley stove, please reference the user and maintenance instructions. Typically, the glass will clean itself when there is sufficient heat generated by burning good fuel. If a buildup of creosote occurs on the glass, it may be due to poor draft conditions, poor quality fuel, very low burning for a long time. Only clean the glass when the stove is thoroughly cooled. To clean the glass inner surface, use hot water and a soapy cloth. Alternatively, you can use a glass wiper, such as the Atmosphere Dry Wiper from SHOT, which is available in selected Stanley stockists nationwide. For stubborn stains, use hot water and fine grade zero steel wool. To prevent your glass from sooting up, burn at high rates for effective air wash function. Do not use poor grade or damp fuel. Avoid slow burning and open air wash up to clear soot if needed. Use anthracite for prolonged periods of use on lower settings to prevent soot buildup. Stove flue pathways should be cleaned monthly and the chimney twice a year, once before heating season and once after. All Stanley stoves are designed with removable access plates and baffles to allow for access to the flue pathways of the stove and the chimney system to which the stove is connected. For ease of chimney access, the flue pipes should contain a cleaning access door and any bends in the chimney system are no greater than 45 degrees. During the lifetime of your stove, rope seals and cleaning access plates will need to be replaced. We recommend rope seals be changed every two years. Solid fuel service kits are available for most Stanley stoves through your local Stanley stockist. For more information, watch our video Changing the Rope and Glass on My Stanley Stove. By following these recommended cleaning tips, you will continue to enjoy the heat and comfort from your Stanley stove for years to come.